Hi, I'm Carol Ann Hatchen at Elm Tree Clinic. The NRF uses the metaphor of a tree to represent the function and development of the brain and the NRF's three steps. We organized the NRF into three steps to help parents and practitioners remember these three key components. Let's start with step one. The grounded roots of the tree represent step one. Like the roots of a tree, our nervous system needs to be grounded. When the roots of the tree are deep and spread out, they provide stability to the tree and support flexible, healthy growth of the trunk and the branches. Like the roots of the tree, our nervous system needs to be stable and flexible. This balance in our nervous system allows us to have a deep and restful sleep and maintain a calm, alert state during the day, which promotes optimal development and function of the brain and body. A healthy nervous system allows us to have adaptive responses to stress and to recover from stress. We are showing step one in the diagram with a 24-hour sleep-wake states arc. In step one, we need to first determine whether we are getting a healthy sleep, which means enough sleep and good enough quality of sleep every night. We also need to identify the type of stress responses we are experiencing every day, and we need to determine whether there are toxic stress patterns. Toxic stress patterns put us at risk for negative health outcomes. Check out the videos on the sleep-wake states arc, the color zone pie, and toxic stress. Now let's look at the supportive trunk of the tree, which represents step two. As the trunk of the tree grows, it develops rings and becomes thicker and sturdier to support the branches of the tree. The trunk connects the roots to the branches. Interactions between children and adults with back and forth circles of communication or serve and return cycles support the development of healthy relationships. The more that children share joy in interactions with others, the more the circles support the development of positive memories of connecting with others. Like the circular rings in a tree trunk that reflect healthy growth of a tree, frequent and joyful serve and return cycles lead to healthy brain development. We are showing step two in the diagram with a pyramid-shaped trunk that represents the qualities of engagement between any two people. We have another video to describe this pyramid. In step two, we assess how any two people within the family are interacting and engaging with one another. The integrated branches of the tree represent step three. A healthy tree has lush, strong branches, and every tree is unique in how the branches, twigs, stems, and leaves grow. Branches carry water to the leaves and the nutrients from the leaves to the rest of the tree. The branches of the tree represent four integrated brain networks or the brain systems of the NRF. These four brain networks are a way to understand each person's individual differences and brain architecture. The brain networks organize how we interact with our inside world and our outside world and have top-down and bottom-up features, just like the branches of a tree. We are showing the four brain systems with an oval diagram. In step three, we assess individual differences through four stories, which collect a breadth and depth of information about our brain and body's functioning. Step three provides a guide for precision care for each individual's journey towards improving their stress patterns and the quality of their relationships. Step three also supports collaboration between all the practitioners helping children and their families. For more information about the NRF, go to the NRF website, or you can watch more videos on our Elm Tree Clinic YouTube channel. All the handouts described in the videos are available on the Elm Tree Clinic website. Thanks for watching.